Hello everyone on this Monday of Holy Week, the day after Palm Sunday, which is sometimes called Fig Monday, because the traditional reading for today is the story of Jesus and the fig tree. It's a story that makes a great deal of sense in the drama of the week. It helps us understand how we got from Palm Sunday to Good Friday. If on Palm Sunday we saw a, a, a protest or a political movement or an uprising start as people were given hope as they followed Jesus into a holy city and so potentially incur the wrath of the Roman occupiers. Today we hear a story of the fig tree, which is a metaphor in the most beautiful way of a criticism of religion. And so if Jesus wasn't happy enough to have put the Romans' backs up, now he turns to that heart of Jerusalem, the temple, and its religious authorities, and the outcome of that religion. And that criticism will draw anger and uh, hatred from the hierarchy, because it unveils a truth that their religion wasn't following God or helping people love and have changed lives. That wasn't the fruit they were bearing, but rather was tied up in politics and legalism and power. So let us hear that gospel story today. The Lord be with you. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. In the morning, when he returned to the city, Jesus was hungry. And seeing a fig tree by the side of the road, he went to it and found nothing at all on it but leaves. Then he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again. And the fig tree withered at once. When the disciples saw it, they were amazed, saying, How did the fig tree wither so swiftly? Jesus answered them, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will be done. Whatever you ask for in prayer, with faith you will receive the Gospel of Christ. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, whose Son Jesus Christ approached the holy city, the heart of religion, may we welcome Christ to the heart of our faith. May our faithful following bear fruit, fruit that will last, in changed lives and a transformed world, that your kingdom may be seen here on earth as it is in heaven. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord.